Hey everyone, this is Roxas226 with part 2 of my Master Mugen Guide. If you followed my last video, you should have four different files. You should have No Limit One Mugen, you should have a Screen Pack MFJ, you should have Evil Ken, the character, and, the, and a stage. If you followed my last video, you know that we're going to extract all these files to the correct folders and install Mugen. Alright, so let's get started. We're going to start by using the No Limit One Mugen patch. I'm going to double click that. You can have all these files, chars, data docs, all that stuff gonna just highlight all that. You're gonna drag and drop to win Mugen. It's gonna extract everything, and there you go. Done with that for now. Let's go into Win Mugen. Now here's the game. We're gonna go click Win Mugen, and there it is. Let's play it for a second. Holy crap! This guy's got a girlfriend. That's like a mystery of the modern world. Okay, let's fight myself. Well, obviously that wasn't too fun, was it? Screen's all small and stuff like that. And uh, there was all that writing at the bottom. We don't want that, do we? Alright, let's get out of that. Now, before we do anything, we're going to make Mugen look a little better. We're going to go into Data. Got to go into Mugen Config. Mugen CFG file. You're going to open that with Notepad. Notepad. Alright, so we're going to scroll down. And you're going to find Debug. And that's uh, that's the little text that was at the bottom of the screen. We're gonna get rid of the one, replace that with a zero. We're gonna keep going down. You're gonna find video win. Now it should say width and height. Right now it's at 320, 240. We're gonna switch that to 640 by 480. All right. Now when you go a little farther down, you find stretch. You change that from a zero to a one, and you're gonna keep going down. And if you want the game to have a little better graphics, you're gonna switch double res from zero to two. And then you can keep going down, and if you want the game to be full screen, you'll find D direct X mode, and you'll find DX mode equals windowed. If you want it to be full screen, put either hardware or software. And uh, I'm gonna leave it windowed right. I'm gonna leave it a windowed right now. So that should do it. You press Control S, that'll save. Now let's see what Moogan's like. Moogan. And now it's bigger. Graphics are a little better. And the debug mode is gone. Okay. So now, let's make Mugen look a little more appealing. It's a little bland when you first get it. Alright, so right now we get the one Mugen folder. Let's just put it right here. Before we do anything, we're going to extract the screen pack. It's MFJ. Now, it comes with either 18 character slots uh, or more character slots. If you just extract it like it is, it's going to be 580. I suggest you do that because that's the most and it's easy to do. If somebody needs help learning how to do um, how to extract the other ones, just message me. First of all, we're going to take font. And we're just going to go to Windmugen, your Windmugen folder. We're going to take font. I'm going to go up for a second. Now, as you can see, Windmugen in my documents. We're going to take font. We're going to extract that to Windmugen. Then you do yes to all. And now, you go into Windmugen. You go into data. And you highlight everything else other than font. And you highlight that. And that, you're going to extract into data. One second. Extract all this into data. And then when they ask you to overwrite, you press yes to all. Alright. Now let's see what it looks like. Same size. It's gonna load a little different. As you can see, looks a lot better. A little more production. And as you can see, when you start out, the character select has 500 or so slots. Now, when you start out, uh, the character select is going to be the bottom left. Now, most people will have it in the at the top, like at the very top. Right now, every other thing will just do random select. So, let's fix it so the thing is a little better. We're going to go into data. We're going to go do uh, system, def. We're going to scroll down until you find select info. You can control F and you can search for it that way too. We're going to go to P1 cursor start cell. It should say 30, 0. We're going to change that to 0. 17, and then we're going to scroll a little bit farther down, and we're going to do P2, 0, 17. Right now it's 0, 42, we're going to switch that to 0, 17. And save that. So now, when you go into Mugen, fast forward to the opening, it should start you off at the top right there, but right now it's still at random. So, I'm going to show you how to um, replace what the character spots are on the thing first. So we're going to go to Data. Select def file. You're gonna open this with Notepad like the old one. 
And now I'm just gonna get rid of the uh, other kung fu men. You find now when you're when you're gonna replace uh, when you're gonna get rid of a character, you're gonna replace their name with random select. So when you do that, you gotta replace their names with random select. If you want their space to be just a random part on the board, so that should do that. So now let's go back to the top, and we're gonna have. This is how you put characters in the game. After you put them in, we'll take care of that in a second. We're gonna go to random select, KFM at the very top. Control save, and that does that. So we're gonna go back down. Now we're gonna see what movement's like now. New arcade, and look at that. He's at the top, and nobody else. All right, that's good. So now we're gonna install a stage into Mugen. Now. When you get the file, the file should be like this. It should have df d dot. It should have a def file and sf and an sff file. You get to go to It should have a file that says stages. So you're gonna extract both these files to stages. And there you go. They're in there. But before you can uh, use them, you have to go to data, select, and oh, once I can figure out what the name was. Whatever the file's name is. See this cfg slash training room. You gotta do a rename. He's gonna copy that. So for later, okay. So let's go to select. You can scroll all the way to the bottom, and it should say this. It should have these. Now instead of for characters, you just put in the name. But for this, you can do stages slash, and whatever you are using for the file, you're gonna paste it there. Dot def. Save that. And um. Now we're gonna install a character. So when you get characters, it's actually just like the stages. You know, take a character. You gotta go to the chars folder, and you're gonna make a new folder of whatever the character's name is. Now, if you want to find out the character's name, it should have a def file, like see evilken.def. The def file is what the character's name is. So you always want to take the character's name from that file. You can extract all this. We're gonna make the file. You gotta name it after the character, or it won't show up. I'll take evilken. Gonna extract all the files to his file. That's gonna do that. So now you in your chars folder. So we're just gonna minimize this, minimize this. And now we should have a stage and a character. Now I'm, oh actually no, we have to go to data. We have to go to select. And now we gotta add evil Ken. So we'll just do this. Evil Ken. We'll save that. And that should do it. So now let's see what the final product will bring us. Now the screen is larger than what you got it at. There's a screen pack that makes the game look a little better. And now we can see what those uh, things look like. Evil Ken's in the second slot. You can match the characters however you want. Evil Ken. There's Kung Fu there. You can pick stage. Train zone. And there it is. And this will be the training area. And that should do it. Alright, people. I hope you have fun with Mugen. I hope this was helpful. And if you have any trouble at all, just message me on the video. Thank you. Good night.